Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Today we are at the, I guess the summit, the entryway of Team Star's Fire Camp, and we'll see that right over here. Um, Starfall Street, the Fire Crew base storming the Fire Crew's base. Mela of the Shedder Squad, boss of Team Star's Fire Crew. Mela believes in solving every problem with force, and she is scarier at her face than her Pokemon but she has charisma and always keeps her word, which has earned her the trust of her allies. See, this is what I'm gonna be tackling in today's episode is this Team Star fire base. I don't know if there's really too much more I wanna do around here before we get started, but there might be a few Pokemon to catch that I haven't. Like uh, you over here. This is Hatterina, right? No, not Hatterina. This is a different one. I'm gonna get mixed up. This is uh, Serena, right? Steeny. I don't know where I'm getting these names from. Let's just use Spark again so you can see if that's enough. It was some decent damage. Not very effective, but plenty enough for what we need it to do. It looks like they're gonna use some kind of evasiveness lowering move there. We'll just throw a Pokeball to Steenie and see if it's a catch. And it is. All right, so pretty good start in today's episode just with you know catching Pokemon and stuff. We almost get a level up. There it is, level 30 for Flechinder. Cool. So this is number 82, Steeny, the fruit Pokemon, a grass type. Steeny bounces energetically through forests. If the rind that peels off its body is pulverized, it can be used to treat stomach pains. Huh, interesting. So, yep, Steeny added to our Pokedex right there. Cool. What else is going on around here? We got, we got a uh, couple of Pokemon we've seen before. Yep, so don't need to worry about too many of those. And to you, that was literally out. Yeah, we can't go this way for now. It's gonna have this whole section blocked off from us. If you, if you got a complete ticket up at the team base, too bad about face. Whatever that's supposed to mean. But yeah, the map says there's a couple of Pokemon around here I certainly haven't found. So if I can see those, that'd be great. But so far, I'm not seeing them. <laughs> it always does that. It shows them on the map, but they're not really here. There's a super potion for us, though. And oh, another one of these guys. We already got a. a Cyclone or Cyclozoid or something. We already got the link alone too. So I'm just sort of looking to see what our options are. Hmm. Nothing too crazy. So you know what? I think we're good to go. We will make sure that if we um, take a look at our Floatzel, let's put Floatzel up in front so that they can take on the Team Firebase. They'll be the best suited for it, of course. Water versus fire. Water wins. So hopefully we'll get a win here. But we get a Tomato Berry there, which will. Um, help a Pokemon grow more friendly. But we saw Clive at the very end of the last episode. And he was telling us more about this mission on what he's out to do by taking out Team Star. Whoa, whoa, uh, you can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out like real quick, like I'll have to come at you in self-defense. You get me? I'm not turning back. Well, all right, time for me to do to self-defense to snar right out of ya. Uh-oh, this guy means business. So I guess we have to fight them first. We are challenged by, of course, the Team Star Grunt. What will they have this time? If it's anything like Last Episode, I think we'll be able to deal with it, their Hound Hour. Yeah, Last Episode, we were able to deal with the Gym Leader quite easily, but there is some higher level stuff here. For right now, we'll just do Water Pulse. I don't think Houndour is fire type, is it? No, it is, okay. I think it might be like fire dark or something. Either way, Water Pulse does the trick super easily and that should be this this uh, Team Star Grunt defeated. I defended myself all right, but it wasn't enough. All right then, so we also arrived at our destination, great. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, are you that kid who declared war on Team Star? Call me Zebra. Whoa, thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. Hasta la vista! All right, we'll see you. Nice battling you. So I guess we'll be doing the same thing as we did against the dark crew. Hey, Zebra, it's Clive again. Hey, buddy. Cassiopeia told me to scope out the fire crew's base. I thought I'd come give you some backup now that I'm through, but it seems you're all set. What was that? What? Oh, hey! Another one of these guys. Is that you, Charlos? Charlos? I thought so. What are you doing here? Is this Pokemon yours? 
This is Charles, the Char Cadet. He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. That's so cute. Ah, Charles, wait! He ran off. It looks like he may have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. I better chase after him. I'll regroup with you soon enough. You press ahead into the base, Zebra. Will do. So hopefully we'll catch up with Charlos again. But look who's calling us Cassiopeia, I'm guessing. I see you dealt with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Stationed inside the, that base is Team Star's fire crew, the Shedder Squad. Their boss, Mela, is the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way, though her methods are heavy-handed. Our de declaration of war must have made her blood boil. I bet even now, her grunts are hard at work inside the base, trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mela keep her cool, she should come out to confront you. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Shedder Squad off the map. Sounds good. So we'll just have to walk up whenever we're ready to initiate this battle. So I think we'll have to choose our three Pokemon for this, but for now let's just ring the bell. Are you ready to challenge Team Star using the first? Oh, okay, I thought I got to choose from there. But what we'll do is Palmat's fine, Floatzel's good, I guess Doxman's fine. I definitely don't want another fire type in there, but I think that these three should work just okay. So we'll do this, we'll head in. Are you ready to challenge Team Star using the first one in your party? Yes, let's go for it. I'm a little nervous, but I'm sure we can handle it. And Clive's here too. Some kid lucked out beating one of our sister squads, and now he thinks he can take us on? Time to give him the boot, gang. Let's show the Skate Crasher what Team Star can do. And if you're listening, Gate Crasher, know this. Unless you can be de beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss won't lift a finger to deal with like the likes of you. Good to know. But I think we can handle it. Defeat 30 of Team Star's Pokemon. This one pretty well last time. So I'm hoping for more of the same this time as Pokemon are getting thrown out left and right. Let's start with a couple over here. Lotzel can handle them no problem. And our Pokemon are big and strong now, you know? So getting rid of three of them right away is looking pretty good. We didn't even take too much damage. So over this way, there's a couple more Growlithe hanging out. So a growl of the Torkoals. Um, the other one, Charcadet. We got some Hound Towers over here. We're already up to six, seven, eight of them. Pretty cool. I think this should be no problem, but the game is slowing down a little bit, so it's a bit concerning, but we can see where more of the Pokemon are popping up. So we can also heal our Pokemon up when they are getting hurt a bit more, but so far we're handling them no problem at all. Like we have very little damage done to us. So we just have plenty of time just to keep working through. And with that, and oh, I see a couple up this way, so let's run. The weather is rough, but in a way, it sort of helps us more than it helps them, right? You know, with it raining, the fire types don't like that too much. Okay, pretty cool, but it looks like Doxmon did take some damage. If I could find one of the vending machines, that might be worth our while. I don't know where there is one now. I mean, I see a couple of enemies up here, but no, hmm, a vending machine. There's gotta be one around somewhere, but I guess we'll just take out this group. Come on. There we go. And no vending machine up here either. This is so silly. But uh, let's deal with th this group a little bit. I just want to throw out Floatzel, because Floatzel can do a huge number on them. There we go. Much better. We're to 22 and still eight and a half minutes remaining. So we got lots going on. We're doing quite well. But back over here. I think there was a little grouping of them. Eee! There we go. Yeah, let's just fight them. Poor little Doxmon is really beat up at this point though. So where are those vending machines at? Oh, there's one, exactly what we needed. So we'll throw out two more just to get rid of these two, and then we'll heal. Okay, so you use Team Star's vending machine to refresh your party, excellent. We still have eight full minutes just to get rid of three more Pokemon, and look what we have over here, three more Pokemon to take on. So I think this should be enough. Come on, looking really good. Doxman takes some more damage there, but we finished pretty well. So I guess that means we can take on Mela, right? Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. Oh no. Oh, it's gonna be another one of these things. Here she comes. We 
Whoa, I love the boots. Boss of Team Star's fire crew, Mela. So you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid, and I don't care. You challenged us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. Oh man, so this is pretty scary. Oh boy, but I'm ready for it. Here he comes. You were challenged by Mela of Team Star. I really do love her outfit, She's starting with uh, the, the fire turtle, whatever it is. But we should just be able to hit this guy, the kind of stuff with normal water moves. We should be good right here, right now. You're going down. Let's see about that. Torkoal, they have drought, but it failed. So let's start with just water pulse, right? That does a little bit more damage than our aqua jet. Now let's see if that's a one hit takedown. It is. Excellent, super effective strike there is what we're talking about. Let's see what you have next. Rev of Room. Oh yeah, so it's this big thing again. All right, so let will be ready for this. I ain't burned up, burned to a crisp just yet. Let's see about that though. So I think we want to terrestrialize here as soon as possible, right? So let's battle, terrestrialize. Well, actually, no, the icy, okay, maybe I shouldn't. Can I un -terrestrialize? Yeah, I guess the ice isn't very effective against fire. So maybe not the best situation, but for right now, we can just do water pulse over and over. And I hope that'll just do good, because it is the Shutter Starmobile, level 26. It's gonna use Screech this time, which, what will that do? That's gonna lower our stats, our de defense harshly fell. Um, and the speed boost is raising, so they'll be able to attack again soon. Let's just try to get another one of these in. Oh no, the Blazing Torque! Oh, that actually didn't do too much. Never mind. we're fine, we're fine. That was for the rest of the Shatter Squad. Oh boy. Let's go again. Water Pulse. Oh, that was huge! Just one more hit like that would do enough. Come on, we'll have to wait and see. Just, yeah, throw another one of those out. The Blazing Torque is coming in again. Still not doing much damage. This is gonna be the last one. Huge water pulse, defeats the Starmobile. Excellent, the Rev of Rune faints with that one. And we've defeated Mela of Team Star. Oh man, that's gotta hurt. All right, well great job, Floatzel. Ugh, is this really how it's gonna end? What a hassle. I'm so sorry, but I mean, hey, it was a good fight about a year and a half ago. Man, what a hassle. Pulled it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. I managed to get a bunch of Charkidet to evolve. That ought to be enough to power the Starmobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Bad uh, tidings indeed. Is it not so, Ortega? I'm just surprised she's not all hot hair. Oh, shut it with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that? As if you're any better, Mela. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Ordy. The girls at the academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a, a surly attitude so that they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people know her for. What? Come on, not you too, Airy. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star, it's finally happening. And the big boss? What, pray, is their plan? They already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked. The thrill's burning me right up. So I guess we were planning something. I burned through everything I had. And now I'm all sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. That float of yours really let us have it. Being me in battle, <laughs> I thought that was a funny walk. <laughs> Being me in battle is a huge deal. So here, take this star badge and be proud of yourself. All right, so for defeating Mela, we get Team Star's fire crew defeated and the fire badge along with it. That was awesome. I like her hair too. Just everything about her style is awesome. While I'm at it, you can add this TM too. Not like I'm gonna use it. We team TM-038 Flame Charge. We put that in our TM pocket. Cloaking itself in flame, the user attacks the target. Then, building up momentum, the user boosts its speed stat. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your floats all. Well, you got what you came for. Now leave me alone. 
You're Mela from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Aw, a Charcadet? Wait. Well, if it ain't Charles, what are you doing here? It seems he came to the space looking for you. Aw, who did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Charlos wanted to visit you? Ah, he misses you. Charlos. To me, it looks like he's saying that he wants you to come back. Just shut already, would ya? They say Team Star has holed itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First I've heard of, of a stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. Then what about that modified car you were motoring around ju in just now? The Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us with the with a big fight. But we never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. You never used it before? And what's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? On Operation Starfall? No, this is the first I'm hearing of it. Huh, yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of the Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. Huh. So there's still a bit of a mystery here with Team Star and sort of their background, their history. I can't wait to learn more about it as we take on more of them. But there we go, for right now, that is the Team Star's fire crew defeated. And we get a call from, I'm guessing, Cassiopeia again. Zebra, it's me. I take it that Mela's star badge is now in your possession? Yep. I see. Now that there's no boss to lead them, the rest of the Shedder Squad shouldn't last long. Mela. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there again. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. Thank you very much. Quite a lot too, or 6,000 of them. You can now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. Use those new TMs to strengthen your Pokemon even further. I'll have my supply unit rep me you shortly to deliver some bonus materials to you. Well, that's great, isn't it? Oh, here they are, it's Patty again. Hello, it's me again from the supply unit. Oh. What? What the heck? Haha. <laughs> Raiden likes you. Hey, stop that! Somebody help! Ha! <laughs> Raiden's asleep now. Ugh! It chilled all over me. What even is that Pokemon anyway? Uh, it's really awesome. Uh, I guess that's one word for it. Wait, is it really that special? Uh, um, but before I forget, here's your reward. Receive lots of Pokemon materials. Great. Um, your name's Zebra, right? Since you're part of Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? They're pretty strong. Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then these misfits and, misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. All they wanted to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. But uh, that's just info I got by hacking other students' social media accounts. <laughs> Why would you do that? I also found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses, someone who recruited them to the team in the first place. Hmm, I don't normally talk this much. Now my throat kinda hurts. So, um, good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. All right, well, thank you, Penny. Hope you enjoyed you know, hanging out with Raiden. <laughs> so there we go. We got another major mission completed, and that one was a ton of fun. I'm glad that we got that out of the way. Looks like there are more Pokemon running around here, so is there any new ones? So far, not look like I do see a little sparkly we can grab right there. Koala Berry, it will grow more friendly, but it will lose a point in its defense stat. Gotcha. So, while there is new Pokemon here, oh yeah, and I can toss out Floatzel to deal with them, I forgot about that. Um, none of them are new Pokemon, so I think the first thing we probably wanna do here 
as Floatzel sort of dealing with them, is uh, go heal up her Pokemon over this way. But wait a minute. Oh no, that's just Litleo. We'll look all over the place while we're moving, just for extra collectibles, all that kind of stuff. So, whoa, we got a great ball. Was there a Pokemon down there? There is, but so far it's just Psyduck and another Marill, which I think we've already caught. So, don't need to worry about it too much. And not seeing anything new, unfortunately. But that's fine. We'll heal up over here. Whoa, I didn't even see you guys. <laughs> that's not what I wanted. Okay, see, so yep, right over this way, we finally got to the uh, Pokemon er Center area. But can I talk to you? Have I done this one? Hello there, I'm a Pokemon League rep. Been having some nice Pokemon battles? I have been. So far we've defeated zero in this area, but there's five trainers to find. We'll get a lovely prize for doing so. So I want to heal our Pokemon up and see what the game suggests we go to next, because that was everything in this area I know I wanted to do. To do. So I'm very interested to see what the game does have to suggest, especially since we've gotten so much stronger. A lot of our Pokemon have fully evolved at this point. Um, at least a good chunk of them have. But we still have a couple more waiting for us. So with that done, let's take a look for ourselves. What does the game suggest we do next? I don't know where to go. That would be the Lavincia Gym. Gym leader Iono in the dazzling city of Lavincia. They're gonna mark it on our map. So we'll see if that is what we actually wanna do, but it looks like there's at the least, you know, more trainers to take on around here. See, this is one thing too, we got the Gimme Ghoul coin here. Can I, no, not you. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. I wanted to see if I couldn't fight the Gimme Ghoul coin and catch that separately, but it looks like we can't. So, gonna leave that for later. We get away safely. Let's, let's grab the coin really quickly. There we go, awesome. But, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the map really quickly by pressing this button and see what the game suggested then. That was, I saw it for just a moment. The Lavincia Gym is right over this way. It's an electric type one. Interesting. So we could try for that, but wasn't there some more stuff like to the south? There was. Okay, so one thing, there's this whole section which we really haven't poked around with too much. Like this is our house, so we came up through here to start the game. But you know, there's like sections over here which just don't seem to have too much in terms of game progression, but you know, maybe we can explore those and find some things. I mean, I guess there was a couple of things. It's just mostly, once you get them cleared out, they, they get removed from your map. But I think maybe this one, the, um, what is this? Uh, what gym type? Psychic. So maybe we should try this one. That definitely seems interesting. So you guys can give me feedback on what you might want to see next. But for right now, I think we can mostly just run around this road and see if there's any other trainers to take on. Or just other things. Look at that bustling city out there. That is so cool. Uh, we get the Greppa Berry. It'll go more friendly, but it loses a base points in special defense. And I definitely want to try anything like this. Uh, ooh, this is new. I think. Is that, that sort of looks like Tentacool? I'm pretty sure. So we probably want to change our Pokemon to a grass type. Let's, let's get um, Borogato out here. I mean, obviously we could do Palm Up. We use Palm Up a lot for a lot of these. So we, we'll challenge you alone. We'll see if we can. We actually, uh, this might have been a bad idea. I just realized it was Rock type. I, I just I saw sort of a tentacle outline, and I just you know assumed it would be Water type. This might be a bad deal. We'll see. At the least, I could use some other moves here, but. Well, actually, is grass good? I always forget. Is rock good against grass? Grass good against rock? I always get it mixed up for some reason. I guess we'll see in a moment. I might have to learn the hard way. But for right now, this is. It sort of looks like Tentacool. Maybe it is the Paldean version of it. We have a whole squad ready to take them on, though. So I guess we'll see. Whoa. It's Toad School. <laughs> All right. Let's try Seed Bomb. Let's see if that does any damage. Oh wow, okay, that is super effective for sure. What hit takedown? You're kidding me. That was insane. It's like you're so goofy. All right then, so. Let's catch you for sure. A whole new Pokemon to get here. So we caught a new one earlier in today's episode. This is our second new one. Always great to see. I just enjoy doing these a lot. You know, they're a lot of fun. But it was a rock type terastalize, so not really too crazy with that at all. But I'm glad we could get this. And that should be good. An easy catch. Toad School was caught. And look at all this stuff. We get ourselves a bunch of experience candy. Oh, also, a lot of you are letting me know that the feathers need to be consumed, they aren't held items. So I need to do that soon. But hey, there's one more thing out of the way. 
Now, I'll definitely have to look around this path to see if there's more trainers to defeat, because I do need to, I think it was five of them for that one little mission, and those are always super good to get done. And they help our team grow a lot stronger too. So Toad School is number 224, or 244, the woodier Pokemon. Ground and grass type, though it looks like Tentacool, Toad School is a completely different species. Its legs may be thin, but it can run at a speed of 30 miles per hour. That is so silly. I love it. So we'll just put you away for now, but I'll definitely consider that for later. <laughs> wonder what it evolves into. Seems fascinating. But uh, there we go, our Pokedex has been updated. I have to experience a thing or two with that one. Besides, I'm seeing a lot of repeats. I do see the glowing spots out here could lead to something promising. So I want to go over here. There's a tower over this way too. This is the kind of stuff I really wanted to just start poking around with and exploring more. But whoa, I got that, the super potion. And what is this one? Is this dark type? I think so. This one's a two star. So we'll definitely want to make sure we're choosing the right Pokemon for this. But I don't think we've caught this one. So it's definitely worth going for it. So I think we'll choose our Dox Bun because of course Fairy is strong against Dark type. It is a two star battle, so I'm a little worried about how this one turns out, but we've been chomping through the one star ones really well. So I can only imagine, even if this is a bit of a struggle, I don't think it'll be impossibly tough. So I guess we'll see for ourselves here in just a moment. But this is a new Pokemon we have not caught just yet in this game. I'm pretty certain. I've seen this in a previous Pokemon game before, though. It is, I forget its name. We'll see it in a moment. We have a group of friends here ready to help us out. This is Impidimp. I remember now. So let's just try to play rough really quickly. We can't even terrestrialize just yet, but it's super effective. It didn't do any damage. I'm a little confused. Uh. It's in, yeah, Play Rough definitely is supposed to do damage. That was weird. Let's try it again. It says it has low health there, but it doesn't. I'm so confused. Either way, we'll just keep out it. It fainted. No, it didn't. It has health still. What? I think the, the, the bar might have been glitched or something. That was weird. Okay, throw a Pokeball. I have no clue what just happened. But. As you can see, we should still be able to catch this thing. Impidim should be another new one for us, no problem. These are a lot of fun to do. I, I liked, of course, doing the uh, Dynamax raids as well and Sword and Shield, but these are just, I feel like they, they have the best features of those. So far, they're not too difficult either, so I'm sure as they jump up in difficulty, it might be a little bit different story. But so far, Impidim, the two-star uh, terrestrialized Pokemon has been caught. Okay, so number 285, Impotent, the Wily Pokemon, Dark Fairy type. They live in groups, pestering and playing pranks on each other to polish their troublemaking skills. That's awesome. So we'll just add you to a box for right now, but that is another great one to have to our Pokedex. So that is our third or fourth Pokemon of today. Pretty cool. But over here, what is the deal with this one? This one looks like it's water type. Is that correct? Uh, ooh, okay. It is now it's dragon type. Oh man. So what's what what is weak to dragon again? Um, I think ice, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we can actually go with Floatzel here, challenge it alone. And if we terrestrialize and use our ice type moves, it should be really good for us. Alright, so we have this very cool Pokemon that I've yet to catch. It is our first three-star. Terrasterade or Terrorade or whatever it is. It is, of course, the Terrasterize Axu. <laughs> that is such a cute name now. Um, so we want to just for right now use Icy Wind until we can Terrasterize. I don't think we can right away. But that should do some okay damage. You know, it's not a huge ton for now, but I think once we Terrasterize, that's when the dumbers will start stacking up a little bit. And the only problem between now and then is just surviving. Yeah, it still doesn't let me terrasize. Your Terra Orb lacks the charge it needs to terrasize your Pokemon. Two more attacks. So just keep at it, keep chipping it down with this Icy Wind. Oh, did they avoid it? I think they did. I don't know how that works for me, but this is so far not looking so good. Uh, Icy Wind again. Come on, throw more attacks. I don't know if that one count, counts at all, but the one that they dodged. We'll see if we can terrasize after this using Dragon Claw, but it wasn't against me, I don't think. Oh no, it was. A critical hit knocks him out entirely. That's not good. Will we be able to come back? 
I think we will. Five seconds until revival. See, a time is still ticking here. We still have a lot more we need to do. So, uh, floats will go out again. I don't know if this is gonna work. That was sort of the problem with um, Dynamax raids, is that after a certain level, you just really couldn't with the computer players. They just weren't good enough to help keep up. It's super effective, but it just doesn't do enough. Um, but it's okay. Now we should be able to terrestrialize for real. As the Dragon Pulse comes in again, I'm a little bit worried about how much damage that'll do. Oh no. Okay, it was a lot, but we're still kicking. This is great. But the focus energy, of course they get to attack twice. Of course. Um, battle, terrestrialize, Icy Wind, onto Axu. This is our chance. Come on. So they aren't the only ones battling with, you know, Terra powers now. Come on, they're halfway down, so we still have a lot more to work through. Where did they go? They disappeared. Uh, there they are. Come on, that doesn't even really, wait, what? They did like two of them, huh. All right, well their speed fell a lot from that, so that's good. Um, but the Dragon Claw's coming in a little nervous. They do attack us, it's gonna be a problem but not enough to take us out. So we still have a chance. Let's use another Icy Wind. Other Pokemon are attacking too, so that's maybe what happened before. Come on, come on, we were so close to defeating you, but they avoided it. That was the worst time for them. They're only going for us right now, which really makes it tough. Ah, goodness. So there goes our terrestrialization. I don't know how many times, you know, Floatzel will be able to come back here. I don't know if we can quite handle a three star just yet but you know, we're trying. There's still time ticking, so maybe we can revive as many times as we need to. That was sort of the thing about Dynamax battles is that our teammates can only revive so many times. But it seems like this time just eats away at the time. The only problem is they're not really doing any moves. There we go. Oh, is it asleep? It's sleeping, that's huge actually. Whoa, all right, come on. It woke up right away though. Using Dragon Pulse, I'm guessing against us. As long as it doesn't knock us out in one hit, I think we can actually get you here. Come on, it's so close. That's it. One more icy one to finish you off. That is more than enough. It just took a lot of time and effort. So as you can see, when it comes to three stars and above, I'm sure it'll be a lot more involved to win a terror raid. Woo. All right, let's go for it then. Catch, just throw a normal Pokeball. I hope that'll be enough. Maybe I should have thrown a better one. Guess we're gonna see. Can we catch Terra Axu? I sure hope so. Come on. I think that's a catch. No, wait, no, no, no. Wait. Come on. Yes, there it is. Axu was caught. So there we go. We even get some better experience candy for that too. So a lot of exciting stuff for sure. So we got that cleared out. Number 155, Axu, the tusk Pokemon is a dragon type. If you see peculiar teeth marks on boulders or trees, it means an Axu is likely living nearby. That is really cool. So a dragon type Pokemon is always good to have. Definitely worth considering for later, but for right now, number 155 is in our Pokemon Pokedex. I wanna grab this really quickly, and I wanted to make my way over to the tower, but seeing how we do have extra time in today's episode, maybe the best way to spend it would be to Go to the school. There are some classes to take on there, which I, I haven't done that yet, but there's a new Pokemon. Um, not the Hoppet, but the Yu. I've not caught Yu yet, so let's try for this. Maybe not the best with Floatzel, but it's a Skip Loom. And I'll just try Biting. And hope that this isn't too much damage. It's perfect, right there. It flinched, so it couldn't move, so this is our chance to just throw a Pokeball. Come on, come on. And we catch a Skaploom as well. Not quite, appeared to be caught there, but wasn't quite. You know what might be good? As a leech seed pops up here, that'll be doing a number against uh, Floatzel. We might wanna switch to a Pokemon that can put you to sleep. Cause their health is gonna go back up by how much though? A decent little chunk. So let's go to our Pokemon. Who was it? It was uh, Oink alone. Who could put Pokemon to sleep. So we'll start with that a little bit and see if we can't catch Skip Bloom that way. All right, we got this, we got this. So, Sleep Powder is coming in. And Oink alone fell asleep, okay. Well, that's not what I wanted at all. I wanted to put you asleep. <laughs> this, this is the opposite of what I was looking for. 
All right, well, they're gonna use Stun Spore now, but it failed, that's good. Do we really have to use an Awakening? How long is it gonna take for Oink Lone to wake up? Stun Spore again, but it failed again. That's at least good. Well, let's go to our bag. Do we have an Awakening? We do, we have six of them. So we'll use one of those really quickly on Oink Lone to wake them up. And then we'll put you to sleep so we can catch you. This is ridiculous. Up and at him. Here comes that leech seed again. So they're gonna get healed up some more. But that's fine, because once we put you to sleep, we're gonna headbutt you once. And that should make it much easier. Oh my gosh, this is taking way more effort than it should have. So yeah, let's use Yawn on you. Link alone, use Yawn. Getting really sleepy, aren't ya? Grew drowsy, so next turn it should fall asleep. But for now, it's using Sun Sport. Is that gonna paralyze us? It is. This is a tough Pokemon. And it's healing up even more now. Oh my goodness, it's back up the fall. So let's just try a headbutt or something. It gets to attack so many times in a row. What is this? That was good. That's perfect. So if you could just go to sleep now, I'd really appreciate it. Well, why is it not working? How many turns does it have to be? That's uh, there we go. Just throw a Pokeball and be done with it. There's no way you're jumping out of this. We'll even use a great ball just to be careful here to be sure. Come on, come on. That uh, is gonna get it. There we go. We caught a skip loom. That was some some hard work to get that, but we'll get some good experience from it. Level 28 for Oink alone and 31 for Florgato. And we get number 17, Skip Bloom, the cottonweed Pokemon, a grass flying type. When the weather grows cold, Skip Bloom's flower closes and the Pokemon cannot photosynthesize. So it flies away to warmer regions. Gotcha. Very cool to get that then. And I think we've gotten what that yeah, starts as, hop it. I guess it evolves into one more thing later on that hopefully we can find in time. I'm really curious though about this tower over that way. Oh, and there's a trainer out here? Okay, we, we definitely wanna get that, but we get some max ether. What should I throw? I don't know, what should you throw? Pop quiz, what should I throw if I wanna start a battle? A Pokeball? Just not insults, please. Lie of the Dragon Tamer. Well, I like their outfit though, very cool. Applin. All right, so obviously they have uh, some dragon type Pokemon here, but then that means Fotal is the best for us because we can use Icy Wind and do some good damage. I don't know what level they are, but it's a one hit takedown, so that's great. There's your first Pokemon taken down. Do you have any more? That's it? Okay, that's, that's sort of a relief. Uh, Thunder Wave for Palmon. I definitely want to see what that is. So Palmon, or the Thunder Wave, the user launches a weak jolt of electricity that paralyzes the target. So very similar to this, but it has lower accuracy. So why would I do that? So I don't think we need it. We defeated Lie the Dragon Tamer. Well, the results sure threw me. Okay, well, that was awesome. Let's talk to you really quickly. It's so nice how you can just throw a Pokeball containing one of your, your Pokemon at a wild Pokemon to dive right into a battle. True. Okay, so if we see anything else to take on along the way, we'll get it for sure, but I think I just wanna focus on this tower. Whoa, watch it. We get ourselves another revive, which is always nice, but I think we'll grab this and head up. A rare candy, that's fantastic. We won't be using those for a while, but those can level up our Pokemon. Gotta climb all the way to the top of this before the Tauros gets me. All right, almost there and I can already hear one of them right there. I'll have to get that on the way back down, I think. That might be just a little bit easier. So I don't see a way to jump down from it, really, but, oh, there's another one right here, too. So what if I just grab the, the Pokeball first? Because I already got quite a few of you, but I guess I gotta take it. All right, then, so give me Ghoul. Obviously, all this stuff is, like, normally effective. I've caught it multiple times. I don't think I need to catch another one, so if we just defeat it, that's fine, too. Give me Ghoul fainted. All right then, so that is 30. We still get the 50 Gimme Ghoul coins, so I want to, can I jump from this? Not from here. Come on, oh, I fell too far. Oh no, ow, okay, wait, go back up. Well, don't you go back up where you fell, before you fell. That would be so nice, thank you. I'm glad it has that. Uh, so let's try that again, and land right here. 
Excellent. So we got a TM right over this way. This is Tailwind. The user whips a turbulent whirlwind with their tail. Very nice. And we get ourselves another Gimme Ghoul coin. And you, over there, I need to catch you. Okay, so I'm ignoring the Tauros if possible. I'm busy. I, I've already caught you. I don't want to deal with this. Um, I think. Yeah, we've caught Tauros. But that Pokemon over that way, we've not been able to, to catch. We saw it once, but then it dug underground and ran away. So I just want to make extra sure we get it. We caught it by surprise. That is really nice. Whoa. Done sparse. Gotcha. So I might just start with a bite. Okay, that was decent. It couldn't move because it was caught off guard, so we'll bite again. Oh, this is exactly where we need it. It flinched and it couldn't move, so it is just not having a good time right now. So a great ball is a great chance right now. Whoa, Tauros back there is intense. Come on, come on, can we catch a Dunsparce? Yes, we can. Another new Pokemon for our Pokedex. Excellent. So as you can see, more experience coming in, and we get Number 188, Dunsparce, the land snake Pokemon, a normal type. If spotted, it escapes by burrowing with its tail. It can float just slightly by using its wings. See, that's what it did before it dug underground when, when we spotted it. So I'm glad we can sneak up behind it this time and get number 188, Dunsparce. Okay, what else do we have around here? I don't think anything too crazy. I think I'm good just to um, fly out of here. So if we press the right button, I wanna, whoo go back to school and try out some of the classes. That's been something I've been meaning to do for a good while, and that should be right over here. So Uva Academy will fly here and hopefully be able to you know, get a little smarter. I don't know what the classes do. I haven't had the chance to really like check them out properly. So this is our chance to do so. So here we are back at Uva Academy for the first time since our journey began to find our treasure. Let's see what kind of classes we can get up to. Should be fun, right? Now, usually school isn't maybe the most fun thing in the world, but in Pokemon, I'm sure it'd be pretty interesting, right? So, what do we got here? Where do you want to go? That's what I'm asking. So we have a whole bunch of places to go to. Um, starting with the school store. Sell items for, for your adventures, daily necessities, and more. Somehow, its bread is always fresh baked. Okay, let's check out the, the uh, store first then. The cafeteria, right? Or not the cafeteria. That was the, the area before that, so, ooh. This looks nice. Mmm, smells delicious. I just can't resist the smell of fresh baked bread. I always end up buying some. How about you? Do you like bread? I like rice balls myself. I like both. Hello, why not have a browse, my dear? We have all sorts of handy items. Sure. So do they have anything we wouldn't find in other places? Yeah, they do have things like Moomoo Milk, which restores 100 HP. Um, no Pokeballs. I don't think I really need too much. Maybe a couple of repeat balls. Those can be good. We're trying to catch a lot of the same Pokemon, or the Nest Ball. Of course, the lower the level, the easier chance it is to catch it. So I think we'll buy um, a good 10 of those. They are pretty expensive though, so we're gonna be careful of that. And then any other kinds of like healings or restorative things, maybe a couple more paralyzed heals would be good. Gotcha. Most of the stuff we're pretty used to, right? Polka dolls, revives, all good stuff, but all things we have. So I don't think we need too much more out of this area. Uh, where do you wanna go? Let's try the biology lab, a room equipped with microscopes and many other tools for running experiments in biology class. That sounds like fun. So maybe this is where we can actually do like a school lesson. Hmm, so yeah, the, uh, one of the teachers is here. Ah, hello, hello. Have you gotten used to the things here at the academy, Zebra? Sort of. Great. Glad to see you're having fun. Oh, have you been using the Pokedex app? I'm uh, <laughs> I'm the one who made it, you know? Every time someone using the app catches a Pokemon, that data gets sent to me. It's really helping with my Pokemon research. So be sure to catch any new Pokemon you find and work on filling in your Pokedex. First, for your first goal, let's aim for say 30. Register 30 Pokemon in your app. Let me know once you've done so. Oh, I think we have. I see you've already registered 30 species of Pokemon to your Pokedex for me. Wow, so you caught this kind of Pokemon? And this one? All this data, this is the best. Ah, sorry about that, I got a little excited there. But I get the feeling that you're going to be a great help in my Pokemon research. 
Here, take these. Consider it my way of saying thanks. You take TM57's Foss Swipe. Ooh. A restrained attack that prevents the target from fainting. The target is left with at least one HP. This is cool for catching Pokemon. I'll definitely keep that one in mind. You sure are good at catching Pokemon, aren't you, Zebra? For your next goal, let's aim for 100 species. Remember, when you find a Pokemon you've never seen before, give a Pokeball a throw. Well, I haven't quite gotten to 100, but I think we're getting there for sure. So we'll talk to them again soon. But in the meantime, is there anything else we could do here? Uh, folks say Pikachu look different depending on their gender. But I don't know what the difference is. I think it's in the tail. Look at this chubby little neck. Pikachu is just the best. I agree. We're seeing how big our Pokemon are. We heard there's someone in the city who loves seeing Pokemon that are really big or small. Even Pokemon of the same species can be all sorts of different sizes. All right then, so that is the uh, biology lab. Next we have the art room, a room that proudly displays artwork made here by the students taking art class. I want to see those. So we'll see some art made by the students. Whoa, oh, and this is one of the teachers we saw before. Challenging the gyms is important, of course, but one must not neglect their studies. See, I don't know how we actually go on classes, or maybe it's not that we can't, it's just that we can go into these and just do things, but that is a crazy statue. What a fine sculpture. Even Pokemon must be envious of its beauty. I tried washing my muck at a picnic and it seemed to hate it. 4K? I think muck's like saying dirty. People who are really good at drawing can make pictures that look as realistic as photos, but then why not just use your camera app? And I think it's sort of enjoyable to make pictures, you know, just to paint your own. A great drawing or painting can show off some amazing techniques that no photo could, and vice versa. A great photo can do things drawing or painting can't. I think both mediums are pretty important. Anyways, I think that's everything for this room. Let's see where we can go next. The home ec room, a room stocked with sparkly clean tableware and kitchen tools used for home economics class. Sounds like fun. See, I'm not really sure if there's actual lessons to go on or if we can just, you know, talk to these people. Hello, you're new. So Guaro, please feel free to relax and unwind if you wish. No need to concern yourself with me. Sure. So everybody's just sort of making food and enjoying it. That's cute, I like it. This microwave, here's our little secret, got it? The one in the cafeteria is always being used. Gotcha. There sure are a lot of Pokemon running free around campus, just like the ones here. They always seem to show up at mealtimes. <laughs> Can imagine why if they're Squobit. It's not too much to do in this one either. Let's try the director's office. Yeah, Dir Director Clavel's office. His desk and research equipment can be found there. So will he be here while Clive is running around? Seems a bit peculiar, doesn't it? But I guess so. Oh, why hello, Master Zebra. How's your treasure hunt coming along? Having all sorts of fun adventures, I hope? Yeah, it's been great. Wonderful, I'm glad to hear it. Do keep in mind that the treasure hunt has no set course or criteria you must follow. Simply go where your heart takes you, and you shall do splendidly. Speaking of such pursuits, there has been something on my mind of late. If I could ask you for your expertise on the matter, I would be most grateful. You see, I recently heard a word whose meaning escapes me. I believe it to be some sort of slang. Tell me, what does chugi mean? I don't, I have no clue. Uh. Something super cool being outdated and uncool, or it's a really chewy gumball. If I had to guess, this one? Ah, I think I understand. For both speaker and recipient, it is not a pleasant word, I take it. The word used to be used by young people these days are quite often beyond my comprehension. But when I learn the meanings behind the words, I find that I feel that much closer to my students. I am most grateful to you for your help on that front. You became slightly closer with the director Clavel. <laughs> good to know. All right then, good seeing you. Good luck with learning more uh, language. Uh, let's try, we're at the, wait, is there more to do? It's saying there's an exclamation mark, so maybe we should see if there's anything more we can talk to you about. I guess so. Ah, Master Zebra, how kind of you to stop by. I must say, I am pleased to see on, you on school grounds again. Travel and adventure certainly have their place, but it does one good to attend class as well, no? Speaking of which, there is something I would like very much to ask of you. 
I understand you have joined a variety of classes during your time here at the Academy, but if I may ask, which of our faculty members has made the most favorable impression on you? I don't know if I've met them all, but I did like Mr. Jacques a lot. Oh, Mr. Jacques from biology class, you say? Yes, he is a fine teacher, a most earnest and hardworking fellow. We truly bless, we are truly blessed to have so many wonderful teachers and staff members at UVA Academy. I firmly believe that our faculty is second to none in their commitment to our students' ongoing e education and well-being. <laughs> Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts, Master Zebra. Well, I'm glad to help. We became even closer with Director Clavel. So maybe if there is more, we'll save it for some other time. We'll have to just try to visit the school a little bit more often. Um, okay, well, that's everything for now. We have the nurse's office, where students go if they're under the weather, though many of them may just want to talk to Nurse Miriam. <laughs> Aw. So let's meet the nurse really quickly. I think we might have saw them in the teacher's lounge. Okay then, so yeah, let's talk to you really quickly. Hello. So this is Nurse Miriam. Hey there, come on in. Everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. What brings you here today? I don't see anything super wrong with you or your Pokemon. Wait, this is your first time here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, so I guess you transferred in recently. You must be a zebra, right? Everybody's been talking about you. I've heard all kinds of rumors. Apparently you fell off a cliff right after enrolling in the academy? And even picked a fight with Team Star? Oh yeah, you started your treasure hunt thing, right? Come tell me about every anything super interesting you find out there in your adventures. I'm kind of bored just sitting in here all day, you know? I don't have any classes to teach, and students only come here to skip class. Aw. <laughs> So, yeah, drop by if you can. Deal? Deal. Became slightly closer with Nurse Miriam. So let's see if we can't talk to her again. And give her sort of the down low on what we've been experiencing so far. Hey there, come on in. Everyone's welcome to the nurse's office. Hmm, Zebra, have you toughened up a bit? I think so. Oh, so you know your tough stuff, huh? <laughs> but seriously, you look a bit different. I bet it's because of all the crazy experiences you're, you're having on your treasure hunt. You needed to tell me all about what you've been up to. Wow, that's super cool. I sure am jealous of you kids. You get to try out new things every single day. Me, on the other hand, I actually wanted to become a teacher. I'm just a school nurse, you know? I can't teach classes or anything like that. I couldn't pass a certification exam to become an actual health teacher. I took it so many times, but no luck. So here I am, stuck forever in the nurse's office. Oh, uh, sorry. I guess this isn't a very fun thing to talk about, but you're just such a good listener. I find myself telling you all kinds of stuff. I hope you'll still come see me, even if I talk your ear off like this. Of course, so became closer with Nurse Miriam. But if it's something you wanna do, even if you have to try a million times, maybe it just takes a million and one tries. You know, it's just really about if you wanna do it. Did you know? Did you know, when you look into a Pokemon's eyes, you can tell what it's thinking. Interesting. If your Pokemon get injured, you can bring them here to the nurse's office to get healed up. That's good. Whenever I'm feeling down, I come here to take a breather when I'm feeling down about stuff from class. Nurse Miriam always lets me stay, stay without making me explain or anything. She's so nice. That's great. So, so far, we're doing pretty good exploring more of the school. We have classroom 1D, there was something? I guess 1A, 1D, Penny's classroom, the students in the STEM track. Miss Time is the homeroom teacher. Is there anything to do here, though, is like my question. I'm not quite sure if there will be, but uh, where the, where's the teachers at? I guess there isn't anybody right now, so there's other the students I talk to, but a lot of it isn't like a huge, you know, revelation of information. We'll check out this last one, then maybe we'll go back to our dorm room and finish things off. But it's been cool exploring the school, you know? Yeah, not too much going on in these ones. Um, oops, I didn't mean to leave just yet. I wanted to take a little bit of a look around. But, uh, okay, never mind, it's silly. So, so we'll go. Let's check out our dorm room. So I don't know if anything has changed in here since we were last there. It doesn't look like it. It's a very basic area, so I guess not. You wanna lie down for a rest? Sure. Yeah, I've had a lot of fun in today's episode going through defeating the fire team, the fire crew from Team Star. 
next episode. I'm still not entirely decided on which gym we'll take on, but I'm pretty sure we'll take on another gym test because that's sort of what's nearby, either it be the Alfronda gym or, you know, there was one over there and there was still plenty more stuff over this way too. So there's a lot to work th through and hopefully we can get it done. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.